Hello guys, how are you today? I hope you are all doing well. It is great to see you guys here back online. I hope life is good and you are not too stressed as we come into spring. Hopefully life will become much more fun soon enough. But for this semester, we will continue studying together with online YouTube classes, guys. So it'll never replace face to face, but we'll try our best to make it interesting, fun and beneficial for your future life and career. So guys, as usual, you can contact me anytime. Don't be scared. It's not like I'm a Korean professor. I am your friend. Okay. Call me Darren. Message me anytime. Give me an email at darrenflett at hotmail.com. You can catch me on my smartphone 010-2822-2453 and on Facebook. Most of you guys will know my Facebook address, Darren Flett. But easiest way is to contact me on Kakao, D-A-R-R-Y-N, Darren on Kakao. When you message, message with your Hanguk Iram, your name in Korean, and your student Hakbon ID number. And it is okay to write your message in Korean. Don't worry about writing English and being perfect. Okay, so no stress. Don't be scared. It's okay to make mistakes. All I want to see is you guys trying your best. It is up to you to work hard. It is up to you to ask questions. It is up to you to ask for help, okay? And it's my job to try my best to help you grow and become more confident and comfortable using English for your future life and career, okay? So message me anytime. So every week I want you to watch the lecture. You can watch the lecture on YouTube or the LMS. Each week there will be questions for you to answer on Dongnam's LMS. And also, I want you to join the class private Facebook group like last semester. Our Facebook group this semester is called Dongnam Hotel English. Dongnam Hotel English. So please search for this group and join the group. If you cannot find the group, uh, I will invite you. So send me a message on Kakao and I'll send you an invitation. Okay? So guys, it's okay to make a fake profile if you are worried about that. It doesn't have to be a real profile. But for attendance each week, each unit, I want you to watch the video and I want you to like the, and comment on the video with your Hanguk Iram name in Korean. I want you to write your student hackbone number and say a little hello, okay? Each week on Facebook, I will put the unit PDF so you don't need to buy the textbook. I understand it is a little bit difficult for money in this situation. I know this pain. So the book will be free and online on PDFs. Each week, the deadline will be one week after class, okay? Not like last semester. Last semester, everybody was doing homework at the end. Not this time. I will be checking. So I want you to do your homework on the LMS. I want you to watch the video and I want you to write your attendance on Facebook before the next class okay so you will have one week every time because the class is online you have no excuse you can do it anytime okay 
so you can do it from home you don't need to watch it but I can look at the analytics to see who has watched it and who is not watching it so try and watch the video on YouTube please and like I said if you have any questions message me on Facebook or Kakao anytime it's my job to help you so don't be scared okay so as I said in the previous lecture this semester our course is hotel and hospitality English okay and the main objective of this course is to help you communicate more confidently and comfortably with international guests so it could be in hotels restaurants bars airports or on the airplane okay so this is for your future career whether it be in the hotels or restaurants at the airport or as a cabin crew member or it'll definitely be helpful for you in your future life as a global citizen and world traveler okay so there are 24 units in the book each week we are going to do two or three units each week we will have a dialogue to listen to on the CD I want you to listen to the CD many times I want you to memorize the key phrases and vocabulary I want you to translate the key phrases and vocabulary in the questions on the LMS and I want you to answer comprehension questions on the LMS also so the 24 units cover everything in a hotel from first welcoming guests all the way through to the guest checkout process after they leave so each unit there'll be a problem that you have to overcome and and it's in a different department each time so there'll be key phrases and key vocabulary on how to solve these difficult problems and make your guest stay the best possible stay they can have customer satisfaction is the number one priority every time okay so this will be good for your employer and it'll be good for your future career so these phrases and vocabulary and dialogues will definitely help so please watch the video please do the homework please join the Facebook group okay guys so on with today's show I look forward to working with you guys as always if you have any questions or you need any help please do not hesitate to message me or call me anytime okay guys on with the show okay guys hello and welcome back to unit 2 of hotel and hospitality English in this unit we are going to look at welcoming a guest with no reservation okay so no reservation means no booking so again like in unit 1 we are going to be checking in guests we are going to be handling a difficult situation and learning how to say no politely okay so good manner good customer service so like in the picture again we can see Sarah the receptionist so if you look at number one it says a guest has arrived without a reservation so no booking okay Sarah is checking him in listen to the conversation okay 
So we're going to listen to the conversation three times. Listen for the key vocabulary and key phrases. Okay? And then on the next page, we will have some understanding questions. Okay? So, it says, listen to the conversation again. And are these statements true or false? Okay? True or false? So, the first one, number one, the guest flight has been cancelled. The guest's flight has been cancelled. Is that true or false? Okay? Question two. The hotel is very busy this evening. The hotel is very busy this evening. True or false? True or false? Number three. The room costs £165. Remember, this is the UK. Okay? Plus breakfast. Okay, so breakfast is included free. So the room costs £165 plus breakfast. True or false? Four, usual checkout time in the hotel is 11 a.m. Usual checkout time is 11 a.m. Okay? Number five, the guest can stay in the room until 2 p.m. The guest can stay in the room until 2 p.m. So, true or false. Okay, guys. So, this part will be in your LMS. Please don't look at the answers in the back of the book. No cheating. No conning. Listen to the CD and answer the questions. Okay, so that'll be CD track number five and six. Unit two, welcoming a guest with no reservation. Track six, exercise one. Good afternoon, sir. How can I help you? Hi. I need a room for this evening. Do you have a reservation? No, I don't. My flight's been delayed until tomorrow evening, and I need to stay in the city overnight. I can offer you our walk-up rate, which is £165 per night for a double room, including breakfast. That's very expensive. Is that the cheapest rate you have? I'm afraid so. We're very busy this evening. Okay, I'll take it. Fine. Could you fill in this guest registration card for me, please? Can I pay by check? I'm afraid not. Cash or credit card only, I'm afraid. It's hotel policy. What time do I have to check out tomorrow? Our usual checkout time is 11 o'clock, sir. But with this rate, you can have a late checkout until 2 p.m. That's great. Thanks. Unit 2. Welcoming a guest with no reservation. Track 6. Exercise 1. Good afternoon, sir. How can I help you? Hi. I need a room for this evening. Do you have a reservation? No, I don't. My flight's been delayed until tomorrow evening, and I need to stay in the city overnight. I can offer you our walk-up rate which is £165 per night for a double room, including breakfast. That's very expensive. Is that the cheapest rate you have? I'm afraid so. We're very busy this evening. Okay, I'll take it. Fine. Could you fill in this guest registration card for me, please? Can I pay by check? I'm afraid not. Cash or credit card only, I'm afraid. It's hotel policy. What time do I have to check out tomorrow? 
Our usual checkout time is 11 o'clock, sir. But with this rate, you can have a late checkout until 2 p.m. That's great. Thanks. Unit 2. Welcoming a guest with no reservation. Track 6. Exercise 1. Good afternoon, sir. How can I help you? Hi. I need a room for this evening. Do you have a reservation? No, I don't. My flight's been delayed until tomorrow evening, and I need to stay in the city overnight. I can offer you our walk-up rate which is 165 pounds per night for a double room, including breakfast. That's very expensive. Is that the cheapest rate you have? I'm afraid so. We're very busy this evening. Okay, I'll take it. Fine. Could you fill in this guest registration card for me, please? Can I pay by check? I'm afraid not. Cash or credit card only, I'm afraid. It's hotel policy. What time do I have to check out tomorrow? Our usual checkout time is 11 o'clock, sir. But with this rate, you can have a late checkout until 2 p.m. That's great. Thanks. Okay, guys. Well done in answering the questions there. Now we're going to look at the key phrases here in Unit 2. So in the LMS... I want you to translate these key phrases into Korean, okay? So these key phrases are for checking in a guest without a reservation. So number one says, how can I help you? How can I help you? Please translate that into Korean. Next one, do you have a reservation? Do you have a reservation? Please translate that into Korean. I can offer you... I can offer you... Again, please translate that into Korean. Next one. Our rack rate is... Our walk-in rate is... What is this? This is a little bit difficult. Rack rate and walk-up rate. Okay. I'm afraid so. I'm afraid so. I'm afraid not. I'm afraid not. We are very busy this evening. We are very busy this evening. We are very busy this weekend. We are very busy this weekend. Could you fill out the guest registration card for me, please? Could you fill out the guest registration card for me, please? Okay. So for your soup J, please complete the translation of these key phrases for checking in a guest without a reservation on the Dongnam LMS. Next one says, did you know the rack rate is the standard price a hotel charges for a room? It is the published rate for a room and is used as a basis to calculate any discounts. It is also called the run of the house or walk up rate. Okay? So it's the standard price of the room. So you can see Sarah talking with a guest without a reservation, and you can see Sarah checking the reservation books. Okay, let's move on to the next page. So again, let's put these words in the correct order. In part three, nothing too difficult there. So I can trust you guys will be able to do that with no problem. Remember, capital letter first. So you have one, two, three, and four. So please complete that for me in the book or on the PDF. No problem. So first one says, one, have you a reservation due? So the answer would be, do you have a reservation? Okay. Two, please rearrange this. So afraid I'm good. 
Number three, you walk up our can rate I after, so rearrange that. And number four, busy evening, very this weird. Okay, so please rearrange those phrases in part three. Let's move on to number four. It says use the words in the box to complete the guest registration form. So we have country code, country code. So country code is for phoning internationally. So the country code for Korea is plus eight two. The country code for the UK is plus four four. Next vocabulary word is nationality. Nationality. So nationality is the country you are from. So I'm British or Scottish. You are Hanguk Sarams, you are Korean. Postcode, postcode. So this is very important. And sometimes in American English they say zip code. Signature is your sign. Street name is your home address, the street you live on. Surname is your family name. My surname is Flet. Usual Korean surnames are Kim, Lee, or Park. Okay, so take a look at the email. We've got title, Mr., Mrs., or Miss. So you can circle one. Okay, so what is number one going to be? So it's going to be surname surname so the surname is jones first name is chris okay then on the second line it says number number two so number two will be the street name okay so street name 73 westburn road city oxford and three will be postcode Okay, postcode is OX37GY. Country is the UK. Four, the nationality is British. The phone number, so the national code or country code for Britain is plus four four. Area code 1607. Phone number 580. 4411. Email address c.jones at freetel.com. Car registration no number SXY3LQ. Date and number six. So that'll be signature there. Okay, sign. So did you know in British English it is postcode? In American English, it is zip code. What is it in Korean, guys? Language tip. Use this phrase, I'm afraid to soften messages, okay? That contain bad or unhelpful news and to make them sound more polite. For example, can I pay by check? I'm afraid you can't pay by check. Is the restaurant closed? I'm afraid the restaurant is closed. It is like saying sorry in advance. You can also use the short form, I'm afraid and I'm afraid as replies. Okay, so think about that. In the next page, final page, when you complete these two listening exercises, track seven and eight, you will be complete. Unit two, welcoming a guest with no reservation. So now you can check in a guest who has no reservation, ask a guest to fill in a registration form and say no in a polite manner. But first you have part five to do. Part five says, Practice softening your language by using and I'm afraid to make these sentences sound more polite. Okay, listen to track seven to compare your answers. 
So you have four to use there, okay? So please complete the answers in your PDF. Number six, reply to these questions from guests using I'm afraid so or I'm afraid not, okay? Listen to track eight to compare your answers. So four to answer, don't look at the back of the book answers, listen to it three times and complete it yourself. Okay guys, any questions as usual, please contact me anytime and I will try my best to help you. So thank you for watching unit two, welcoming a guest with no reservation. It's been great to see you today. Thank you very much for your time. Have fun, be good, be safe, enjoy your week. See you next time. Bye bye. One, I'm afraid the hotel doesn't accept checks. Two, I'm afraid we have no vacancies this evening. Three, I'm afraid you have to check out at noon. Four, I'm afraid that's the best rate I can offer you, sir. Track 8. Exercise 6. 1. My room is very small. Can you upgrade it to a suite? I'm afraid not. 2. Do I really have to check out of my room by 12 o'clock? I'm afraid so. 3. Is the bar open now? I'm afraid not. Is that charge for phone calls really correct? I'm afraid so. 1. I'm afraid the hotel doesn't accept checks. 2. I'm afraid we have no vacancies this evening. 3. I'm afraid you have to check out at noon. 4. I'm afraid that's the best rate I can offer you, sir. Track 8. Exercise 6. 1. My room is very small. Can you upgrade it to a suite? I'm afraid not. 2. Do I really have to check out of my room by 12 o'clock? I'm afraid so. 3. Is the bar open now? I'm afraid not. Four. Is that charge for phone calls really correct? I'm afraid so. One. I'm afraid the hotel doesn't accept checks. Two. I'm afraid we have no vacancies this evening. Three. I'm afraid you have to check out at noon. Four. I'm afraid that's the best rate I can offer you, sir. Track 8. Exercise 6. 1. My room is very small. Can you upgrade it to a suite? I'm afraid not. 2. Do I really have to check out of my room by 12 o'clock? I'm afraid so. 3. Is the bar open now? I'm afraid not. Is that charge for phone calls really correct? I'm afraid so.